Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Tasanaki. Thanks for being here. On today's video, I went to France. I went on a tour through an organization uh, that is has an office on the base here and they organize regular tours and they are just now getting back to uh, organizing these. This one was, uh, we had a, we had all the COVID precautions in place and actually for this one, they required that you were vaccinated. I'm not sure if they allowed anybody to have a negative COVID test. Uh, I think that they required vaccination. So I thought that was great. They also had the buses. They had two buses and these buses were only filled to uh, half capacity. So that was really good for us. Um, we went to, I believe I'm saying it correctly. We went to Soffelheim, France, which is only a couple of hours away. Um, definitely, of course, you know, faster in a car. Um, but we drove over and it was maybe hour and a half, hour 45 minutes. It was kind of a rainy day and uh, we did have umbrellas. I signed up for the tour with one of my girlfriends and we did have umbrellas, but we ended up not using them uh, just because it was kind of a hassle and uh, to walk around like with the stuff that we purchased. Uh, but also luckily it didn't really rain too much. It was just kind of cloudy and uh, a little overcast. So we drove through the cute little town and um, it was a very like sleepy, quiet day. I don't know if it's because of the COVID restrictions that France has. Um, this trip was at the very end of August and uh, the restrictions have changed uh, since we've been there. But yeah, so this is the trip to Soffelheim, France, and this town is known for uh, the pottery. And I would definitely need to look up what it is. I think it's made with a certain kind of clay that is in the area, in this like particular area of France. Um, so it's very cool. It is like these, these things are able to just be passed down from generation to generation. So uh, lots of different shots of the pottery here. The stores were beautiful. They were packed full of different items. Um, everyone had kind of their own spin on things. They had their own designs and their own kind of uh, styles of pots as well. A lot of places had, you know, um, the same things. Like they might all have like the cream and sugar set or they might all have like the big crock pots. Um, stuff like that. But some of them had really unique things. They had um, maybe I think only one or two of the shops, for example, had square plates, which I thought was really cool. Um, I was not able to find a set, but that's okay. I do plan on going back at some point. Um, the area is known, it seems like the area is known for two things regarding this pottery. Um, one is these that you see on screen right now. Uh, it kind of looks like a bunt cake. Um, I don't remember the name of it and I was looking for the cookbook that one of the shops gave us and I can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. I know I still have it. I did not get rid of it, but um, it's known for those uh, specific style of cakes and not only the the kind of cake, but just that shape in general. So they use it to make a lot of different things. And uh, yeah, we just had a really great time. Uh, everywhere was decorated really nicely. The pottery is beautiful. Uh, you know, people are just so artistic and these places have been around for quite a while. Um, you're talking, you know, passed down from families or it's, it's family businesses. Um, so that's really cool to be able to see. Some of them did have open places uh, where if they were there or if they were available, you could see them working on the pottery. We only got to see, I think, one shop that had it open. I guess they don't necessarily have that section open all the time, but there's just so much to see. The pottery was beautiful. It was so nice. Uh, it's heavy old. It's not old. Sorry. It's heavy. Uh, really just well-made pottery and there's so many different things you can buy. Um, I ended up getting kind of one of the larger, not the largest because we do live in Europe and I don't know how anybody can actually put those in their ovens, but I got one of the larger size of these style that you see on screen right now of these kind of crocs. Um, the bad thing is that when I got home, I discovered that the lid had cracked and broken in half and 
I, I kind of think it's right when we got home, I was handing the bag to my husband and it slipped just a few inches and hit the ground. Um, so I feel like, well, we feel like maybe we did it, like we broke it. I don't think that it was necessarily broken, uh, during the drive between, between France and coming back to, to us. So we spent our time, we spent just a, uh, a few hours, I would say maybe three, if I remember right, I think it was three hours and walked around to different shops. Uh, we got to see one shop where they had things out drying um, several of the shops, this area right here that you see is like a seconds. So there's some kind of flaw on it. And when I was looking at things, a couple of the flaws were kind of big, like large chips or something like that. But some of the other ones, you could not tell what the flaws were at all. I love this shop here. I love this flower design. That was one of my favorites. This is the one where I was looking for a set of plates. And unfortunately, she did not have as many as I needed. I only wanted, I think I asked for five or six and she only had, I think three. So I ended up just buying one. Um, it's these, one of these blue flower ones here that you see on the screen. Her shop was beautiful. Um, she had probably maybe five or six different colorways. Uh, and then of course, just a big wide variety of items in those same colorways. Now I mentioned the the shape of that dish, the the cake dish that is really popular for this area. The other thing that is really popular is storks. Apparently storks come to the area, come to this particular area in France and this is where they like hang out for the summer. And I guess if you looked at some of the buildings, you'd be able to see where they would nest. Um, I didn't see any, I didn't see any nests. I saw signs. Um, there were definitely a few signs that had, that had them up. Um, but I guess they, they stay and they hang out in the area and then they go for the winter and go, I think to Morocco. Um, I might have to double check that, but I think somebody said they go to Morocco. So this pottery beck was one of the, well, no, this pottery beck is the largest, uh, shop that we went to. They had all these little houses outside in their courtyard area that had tons of displays. I even found one that had like a Native American thing in it, which I thought of course was hilarious. Um, really nice just uh, designs and setup of uh, what they had to offer inside. And you'll see when we go inside that it's just a huge, huge warehouse. And of course, when you buy direct from places like this, then the prices are very, very good. Um, I did have a large like shopping, the wheeled shopping bags that we use uh, here in Europe. Um, I did have mine with me and I used that to carry my stuff around. I was really happy to have it. Here you see it in the shot right there. I was really happy to have it because of course pottery is heavy and I didn't want to have to carry things around on my shoulders the whole time. I really like this store. This Pottery Beck had um, each table kind of had a different design on it. And that was really nice to see. They had a lot of Christmas things um, coming up here in the video, you'll see. And they had uh, a humongous, humongous warehouse uh, that you could see where they were making the making the pottery. And I thought I had a shot of it, but when I was working on editing the video, I couldn't find it. So that's kind of a bummer because it was seriously like four times the size of the store or maybe even bigger. So here you see a lot of the Christmas stuff. There's like deer and snowflakes and they actually have, a, they make a dish that is shaped like uh, snowflakes. Here you can see one and they have another dish that's shaped like a gingerbread man. And here's one with these cute deers on it. And I did buy a couple. Like I said, you can also see so much of the pottery has the storks as decorations. I thought that was really interesting. Um, that is something that you could definitely take away and you know that can be like your souvenir from this area uh, in particular. They also had things like this where it was this is obviously Frida Kahlo. Um, you can see that quite plainly. They had Day of the Dead um, painted pottery items. I'm not really sure how I feel about that because these are French people. Um, they do not have Mexican ancestry and you know, the idea of cultural appropriation is, of course, very close to my heart. And I am a staunch protector of 
um, you know, supporting the actual artists, the actual people who these things, who've created these things. So that's just my view on it. We have some more snowflakes and some more Christmas items, gnomes and Christmas trees and just really pretty decorated platters. I love Christmas. Christmas and birthdays are like my favorite, you know, holidays. And so I make a big deal about Christmas. Um, you can see just tons and tons of stork painted um, painted items. And I got a couple that have these really pretty birds on them. I don't think I got anything that has storks on it though. And I actually did not do an unboxing for the pottery items that I purchased because when I started doing the video, I think the second or third thing that I unwrapped was my large crock. And that's when I discovered that the lid was broken. So once I saw that, I was really nervous. Oh, wait, here you can see, look how many crocs these guys had. The This whole, like, I don't know if it's the front, it's the back where you pay, um, but it's just like one side of the, of the shop had all those different sizes of large crockery um, dishes. So this was a great shop. This is, again, this is Pottery Beck and they had really nice stuff, but like I said, I did not do the unboxing because uh, when I unwrapped my stuff and I started finding, or so I found the one, it was just the one dish's lid. The dish itself, the, the big crock pot itself is fine. Thank goodness. Uh, but I stopped recording the unboxing because I was nervous that I was going to find more stuff that was broken. And I already had kind of exclaimed, you know, disappointment and frustration um, on video and I didn't want to have that recorded <laughs> just in case like it happened again. Um, this shop was also really nice. I mean, we liked all of the shops that we went into. All of them had really nice stuff, beautifully decorated, um, just really cool designs, different designs in every single one. So depending on what you were looking for, your color that you're looking for, kind of the style that you were looking for, you could find it. Um, I thought that these things were beautiful, even if I didn't buy them. I don't necessarily want to have dishes with cats on it, but look how pretty they are. That deep purple. Oh, it's so beautiful. I really love that really dark maroon color too. Oh, these are just, it's so nice. And actually this shop had, um, you'll see in a, in a few more seconds here that they had the back area of their shop was where they were doing the designs of the pottery and they had several large bowls um, drying and we were able to see that so that was really cool and she actually told us she said um, she gestured and said you know to go back and see what they were working on so here you can see these are all finished and they're just drying I don't know the next step I suppose it's to fire them right because this is the paint and the enamel um, to where they're finished and they need to be like, I don't know, I guess fired. I don't know anything about ceramics, um, but it was really cool to be able to see that and um, have her let us peek in. So we had a really great day. It was so fun. It was really nice to be able to go do something. Um, this was my second trip. You know, if you have seen my trip to the Polish Pottery Festival, I'll leave a card at the top with the link. Uh, so you can check that out. And this is the second trip that we were able to do. Um, oh, I say we, but it was me this time. Um, I did not take any of my kids or my husband. And I ended up going with my girlfriend. Um, she actually works for the organization that organized the trips. And she let me know that it was coming up. So I was able to sign up. And then we were able to get assigned the same bus so we could visit along the way. And so... We left the little town and it's just, it was really a great time. It was a great experience. I had never been to that part of France before. I had never seen that kind of pottery. Um, I really like trying to be able to get stuff from the local economy, from the like handmade, um, locally made, that kind of thing. So having this experience was just really cool. And I just love seeing French gardens. I love seeing, you know, where people live and the houses and um, you know, just it was a really nice time. And next up, we went to a French grocery store. We went to Cora, which I don't know if there was not one in the area of France that we had lived in, but we I had never been there. And uh, it was just a regular grocery store, though. They did have um, it was a pretty big grocery store. 
Um, I was trying to think of like what you could compare it to in terms of like size compared to the United somewhere in the United States, but maybe just mm, I don't know. So it was actually so busy in that store that I did not get to record anything because we only had about maybe 45 minutes and it was a big store and it was really busy. So you kind of had to like, you know, follow people down the aisles or like wait to try to get around them and stuff like that. So that was kind of tough. Um, so I didn't really get to record in there, but I definitely plan on going back. Um, it's since, especially since it's just a couple hours away, I really want to take um, my family and go back and check it out and maybe stay like overnight but you don't even have to stay overnight actually when I got back I talked about how easy it would be for us to like get up and have breakfast at home and then turn around and um, drive over to this part of France and then go shopping have lunch maybe go to a mall and I don't know go to some of their favorite French stores or something and then come back home we could be home you know in time for dinner um, which is, it's so crazy to say stuff like that, that it's just a couple hours away and it's a whole other country. Um, so the Cora store was cool and upcoming next up actually is going to be my unboxing of my food. So stick around for that. I bought a bunch of snacks for my kids and they've definitely been enjoying them. Um, I encourage you to like and subscribe and I will be back with more videos and hopefully I have more trips planned and you can see that definitely have more bullet journaling stuff. So like I said, next up is the food unboxing from the French grocery store. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. That was my trip over to Soffelheim, France. And we went to the little village and you saw all the cool pottery shops that we went to. And then we went to Cora, the hypermarket. I'd never been to Cora before. I've never even heard of it. And this is my little grocery haul. I got a bunch of the chocolate and bread cookies or chocolate and breads that my kids love. I also got the chocolate and cookies, chocolate and biscuits. I got a vanilla fromage blanc. It's kind of like a yogurt. It's not really yogurt, but it's kind of like yogurt. I got a Nutella because of course we got some Madeleines, a couple Nutella, a couple packs of this Nutella, like little bread snack things, a lemonade. A, of course, had to definitely grab the pack of croissants and pano chocolat at the end. I got a couple of foie gras. This one has figs in the middle, and then this one is just a jar of the foie gras. Lots of different sausages to try out, or not sausages, salamis, saucisson. Saucisse, such, I have no idea how to say that. I probably totally just messed it up. There's a big one. I got three of these packs. This one is chili pepper. This one is cheese and, um, oh shoot, what is that? Walnuts. And then this one is another cheese one. We do love these little tiny mini sausages. You can see that they're bite-sized salamis. So I got a bunch of those. And then here's another brand. And I got a couple of bigger salamis to try out. Always cannot leave France. We cannot leave France without grabbing some cheese. This one got a little squished in the bag on the ride home. I got four of them. Not too many, but they look so good. Got a couple of like aperitif little snack things. My kids love these. They're so good. And some more Nutella treats and then pepper sauce. This is really good. We do eat it on, usually with steak. Um, I usually get the one, I used to get the one, I should say, in a glass jar. I couldn't find it. I just got that one. And, oh, here's another little mini, just a different brand. So there you have it. There's my grocery haul from the trip you just saw. I hope you enjoyed seeing my trip. I will definitely be back because it is so close to where we live here in Germany and we just love being able to buy French food. Oh, I totally missed the butter. It looks good. I cannot wait to figure out what we're going to eat. Snacks for my kids are definitely worked out for the next who knows how long. I bought a lot of packs of these. I bought six, but there's two in each one, so that's 12. And then I bought five boxes of the chocolate breads. They're going to love this. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos from me. Have a great day.